Damn, Quincy G, what time is it? I don't know. I don't know why these plays is acting like they can't love no female G's. But check this out. And I need some love, some of that good stuff That kind of thing that give me a head rush When I get to the crib, I want you to make me scream and holler Baby, pop your collar, you can even drop a few of them dollars But don't bother, just feel me as we caress I rub your chest, we put this love thing to the test My nose is wide open, damn, your love got me impressed And if I had to know how you was gonna do it, I would've loved your whole lot sooner you touch me, I touch back We attack twenty sheets from the back Fill the blast in the dash Roll the grass Go to the mall, spend a little bit of your cash Baby, don't hesitate when it's time to get mama some more of that ass Cause I'm a female gangster and I need love too Hear what I'm saying, I put it down like this for you Twinsy G and JB Now we just saying we yeah. have time to get a little JB, make you feel like a man when you wanna, but if you start to cheat, then you's a goner, cause I can give you everything you need, see from your head to your teeth, I got those recipes to satisfy your needs, to make you bounce out of your mind, bring it back one more time, so I can bust another funky rhyme, and for you to press the tape and rewind, on close the time, now riding for my man. Is what I do, and keeping the truth top notch is what he do. I thought you knew coming in red or blue. I'll get busy if I really have to. Stop. It's the best in throwback hits radio, Mighty G Force Radio Soul, and we're back with my main girls. Two plus two, huh? Two twins. That's my girls, twin fotainment. You know how it is. What's up, twins? What's going on, What it do? How you doing? Oh, man, that last show was off the chain. Thank you so much. We can't wait to have Mike back. And you guys need to tune in. This is your favorite twin, and this is my girl, JB. Hey! Listen, y'all, we got somebody special in the building today, but right now you're tuned in to Twinfotainment Web TV, where you need to check into us on YouTube. Go like, subscribe to our channel. We're on a mission to get 100,000 subscribers. And yes, we mean you. All you can you. actually be a part of the subscription party because every 5,000 subscribers we receive, we will give you a free gift or bring you right here and let you sit yeah. at this table and talk to us. And we also got something going on with our guests, but we'll get into that later. So thank y'all for tuning in <laughs> yes. to Twin Entertainment. I'm your girl, Twinsy G. And I'm your girl, JB. And we up in this thing, and we up here in Powered by GFN Radio. And we got a lovely guest tonight. And I just want to say this. If you don't have her music, by the time we get done, you better have went to Apple Music, iPhone Music, Google Music, whatever you want to music, okay. and go get right. her music. Okay? Yes. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But right now... And before we get off the air, Lakonda, make sure you um, give all your social medias and all of your extensions so everybody can get at you. Absolutely. Yes. Now, getting into yes. the show, y'all, we got the info. Lakonda, 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 Lakonda. <laughs> yes. We got the petty cat in the building. It is so wonderful to have you here. Thank you for blessing our, our show. It's such a sexy right? petty cat. Ain't she? <laughs> just, just everything. <laughs> everything she appeared to be, y'all. What y'all see on screen is what you get in real life. Yes. Okay. Just all <laughs> of that and much such more. Such a beautiful spirit. And Thank you have you. done so much work in yes. this industry. And people don't really know that. And it's funny because I remember 
scrolling through YouTube about eight or nine years ago, maybe a little bit further back, and I was looking for the song Titanium. And I came across this little black girl <laughs> with this spiky haircut. Wow. Who was just singing this song to the a whole nother nation. Like, I don't even know who she was singing to because she wasn't singing to the people here on earth. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you. And I was like, oh my God, this is my favorite singer right now. And yeah. I didn't know who she was. I didn't know you were from Dallas. I didn't know you were this close to me. Right. I didn't know. That I would ever be able to look you in your face and tell you how much I appreciate what you do right. with your artistry. Oh, thank you. Right. She's not only a producer, a songwriter, she's a producer. She produced all her stuff, y'all. This wow. woman is so talented in so many facets. I know she fine. Yeah, I know y'all watching. <laughs> I know y'all watching. We know she fine. But she got Y'all don't things. want her to get up and show the apple. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna, we gonna have she to show working. her. <laughs> but, but what I'm trying to say is, not only is she fine, but she got brains to go Talented. with that beauty. And she has produced some of the most sig significant music, some of the most sensual sounds and tones that I've ever heard in radio. And I just look forward to letting the, letting our listeners hear some of this so without further ado i know we kind of went around it but <laughs> we, you can't miss her she right here yes right so here. we'd like to introduce to you all our audience our home team our family the petty cat herself miss laconda davies welcome to the show Yay! welcome to the show how y'all doing thank you for having me all right all right yes, man yes, thank yes. you so much so You're how welcome. you been laconda i've been good Tracy, I have. I've been, you know, staying busy. I've been, um, I won't say I've made goals, but you know, things come and and I just go with the flow on things. Right, I'm just right. Like, Yo, let, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just keep it moving. <laughs> it's like I, I have a, I have a, just a energy just to continue to just keep going. Just wow, living. that's just amazing. Living this life, doing this music, doing what I love, and just just doing it. You know. But yes. you've done so much, and I feel like I haven't done enough. <laughs> Just yet, just right? Yet. That's what all like the greats yet. say. Right. That's what all the great. Uh oh, that's what all the greats say. Yeah. They haven't done enough, but I think you've done enough to be recognized, and that's why we wanted to have you here because yeah. we want to give you your roses. Why I count? Why I matter? You know, absolutely, and, absolutely. And 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 you've done some things like me and my sister. You know, we've been able to grace the stage or grace the studio with some OG. Um, old school R&B artists to do our music and I know you've had the opportunity right. to actually like tour with some wow. of the greats that we grew up on and like y'all you've been on tour with the Gap Band yes I have tell yes. me what was that like that was an amazing experience, let me tell you. You was with Uncle Charlie? Well, let me tell you, you know, they mm -hmm. had already separated. Gap Band had separated, and the rest of the band, Charlie, you know, Charlie went solo. So mm -hmm. everybody okay. else stayed together. Gotcha. Okay. And so that's when I came in. Wow. So it was, it was, it was to, to, listen, I didn't grow up, that, that's not my era, but mm -hmm. as a, as a child, my dad had all these records, and I went through every last one of those records <laughs> got to know and it. I played every last one of those records and when I got to the Gap Band I was like I like them yeah. <laughs> I like them I mean just listen to the uh, outstanding yeah. I was like oh I love it and just I listened I knew that whole I knew the whole record I knew it backwards and forward right. and, I, and it just stuck with me and I say that because I believe I manifested mm. that I, I manifested that for me to be able to work with him because it was I wasn't looking for it. Yeah, yeah. I just had I got a I got a message on Facebook from a guy I didn't know, wow. and I was like, um, he's like, hey, the Gap Band is looking for a female, you know, background singer. And I'm just wow. like. I'm like, this dude trying to get at me. Right. And I'm just like... It's always a motive, right? right? And yeah. I'm just like, okay. And he was like, you should audition. I'm like, what I ain't doing is doing that. Because I'm right. like, all the thousands of people in the world that could audition, why you... Yeah. Right. Doing no more. Right. right. I'm so, love that. Right. She's past you better audition. know me. She exactly. is the record. So I'm okay. like, I'm not doing that. And yes. so he was like, I talked to the guy and he said, give him a call. I told him about you. And I'm like... So he gave me, he texted me the number, he, he sent me the number on Facebook, and I'm looking like, dude, stop playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
did not. I did not call, and he and he finally said, "Did you call him? He's waiting on you." Uh-huh. And I'm just like. He was like, this is the drummer of the Gap Band. So I was just like... How amazing is that? And I just finally picked up the phone. And I was just like, hi, this is Conda Davies. This guy yes. named uh, Scoop, you know, told me to give you a call. You know, y'all looking. He's like, yeah. He said, we're looking for some, you know. Uh, and he was like, are you... Are he's, I've heard a lot about you. I was like, okay. And he was like, are you willing to audition? And I'm just like, yeah. He was wow. like, so where do I need to audition at? He said, well, you, I'm going to give you a number so you can call our music director. And I'm like, okay. Call the music director. I was like, here we go. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I will yeah. sing, right. <laughs> so I call him. He was like, you know, yeah, you know. Um, yeah. More like, I'm going to go knock this thing right. out. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, okay. And so, listen, I wasn't prepared to do I was just prepared to have a conversation, hang up the phone, and be done with right. it. Right. Yeah, I, right. I, I, tech, I called your boy. And so he was like, when can you audition? I said, I can audition tomorrow. Mm. He said, I'm in Houston. I'll come tomorrow. Yes. And so, and I was serious. Wow. He said, he said, you'll come tomorrow. I said, yeah, I'll come tomorrow. If you want me to audition, I'll come tomorrow. And so he's like, come in two days. I said, I will come in two days. And so he gave me the address. So I'm like, I'm, I'm just like, okay, we're going to see. We're going to mm-hmm. see. Because I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't, that audition stuff, you know, people, they had a pick. They yes. Have, they they already, already know who they want. They, they the just motion. be playing. Just they playing just games. Doing it themselves. Yes. You know? yeah. so I, I, did, I did American Idol. That's why I was like, mm-hmm. oh, yes. <laughs> they really <laughs> get to no. <laughs> We gonna right. get to the point. Right. Doing it for camera. So, so I'm telling you why I was like that. I was absolutely, like, okay. absolutely. So a couple of days later, I went down and uh, the MD. Um, we call him uh, Gussie. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I don't call him Gussie for so long. I don't even know his real name no more. But he was, <laughs> he was a, one of the ones that wrote some of the songs for the Gap Band. They're, they're hits. And so uh, went down there. Went met him at the church. So went down there and he was like, all right, how are you doing? I'm, like, I'm, I'm doing good. And he told me who he was. I was like, okay. He's like, and I said, you know, it's crazy. I know, I, I know all your songs already. So he was like, all right. He said, I want to hear you. He said, okay. He said, I'm going to tell you what we're doing. Get ready to go on tour and da, da, da. I was like, okay, okay. So he told me to sing one of their songs and um, I don't know which, I think I sung, uh, I think I started singing uh, Outstanding maybe. And he listened to me. He was just like. Okay, <laughs> this little songbird like, yeah. here. He's like, you got it. You got it. something. Right? And he was like, uh, sing this right here. Sing this line right here. And I was just like, okay. And I sung it. And he was just like, wow. Okay. Didn't he know. Like, he didn't know. He was like, I, he said yes. He said, I'm saying yes. He said, I just got to convince everybody else. Oh, he wow. said, so let me talk with the guys. And then we'll get back with you. So I'm just wow. like, Okay. Well, do you want to give us a little line or two tonight, Mama? I can. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. You go on and bless us. Oh, you're yeah, looking sweeter now. All right. Every day, boy. I wish that I could love you right in a special way. You blow my mind. Oh, no, girl. <laughs> Like, let me talk to the guys at that at that point i was just like okay yeah and so I and really home. not knowing right. real man. talent on this mic. so so i was like okay and um he said well we'll give you a call let me talk to the guys so i was not excited i was i was good because i was able to audition and i was yeah. like okay he met me they heard me i'm like that is, I, i'm i i go in there like i will be undeniable no matter what yes and so i had that attitude like i'm here and you know you pass me up then y'all y'all on some, so some y'all. Son, y'all on something and so <laughs> yeah, you know, i'm like i didn't came with the energy i done prayed about it i'm like i'm here right so a few days later um it may not even been a few days later he was like yo everybody agreed to it and we we good you're in so i'm like Cool. I still wasn't excited. I called my mom. I was like, Ma, guess what? Yes. And so I was like, I'm a be. I said, but I don't know. I said, because he told me the first day, he gave me the, the dates and stuff that we were going to go on tour. And I was like, I'm not going to know it's real until they send me that plane to get that first show. 
honey. God Baby, damn. when they sent me that email with that itinerary, I was like, oh, it's done. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> done. Yeah, yes, let's move go. this. Right. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Wow. Yes. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah it that was, is so, you're so fortunate. Like, who actually get to tour with the people that they grew up on right. and admired and right. been influenced by? And it's like, you an icon yourself, though. You know, I'm, I'm going to put you there because, right. like I said, I found you on YouTube looking for a titanium. Right. I never knew that little black girl in that room was going to end <laughs> up at the Gap Band, right. and working with Mike Mosley right. and doing all these things, being managed by Bo uh, Paul Anthony from Full Force. Like, right. All Wakanda. amazing people to work with. Wakanda. And I know when we come back from our break, I definitely want to get into the goodies. <laughs> yes. So you like, I'm over here like Wakanda. <laughs> I want to get into the goodies. Wakanda. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Gap Band was just the, the icing on the cake. Right. Yeah, the cake is still a pound cake. Right, right, right. Yes. Well, we're going to yes. bake it up and we're going to twist it up when we come on back. This is your, again, you're tuned in with Twin Fotainment Web TV powered by GFN Radio. We are here with the infamous, beautiful Lakonda Davies. And we're about to go out into a break and we'll give you a little something, something. And we'll be right back. Two yes. and two. Come back with us. I love the smooth sound on Mighty G Sports Radio Show. Remember, every night right here live is the world famous Quiet Storm. We'll be in the mix, so make sure you download our free app at the Google Play or also the Apple Store 24 7. Nothing but the hits. Tune in. Oh, did I mention you could get us on the Roku platform and you can get us on Fire TV in your Fire Stick, Alexa, Google Home. So you got all devices to get us on. Just tune in to the Quiet Storm, baby. To the Quiet Storm, baby. To the Quiet Storm, baby. To the Quiet Storm. Thank you. 
Welcome back. Welcome back to Twinfotainment Web TV, powered by GFN Radio. You are tuned in live with the Twinfotainment and our special guest, Lakonda Davies, is in the house. You all, she is a songwriter, producer, and she is an actress, and she does a bunch of other stuff, you know. But right now, we're going to get into this vocalization thing that she has going on. Um, she just did a little cut for us. She has toured with the Gap Band. She has worked with Mike Mosley. She has been around this globe doing many things, you guys. And we are here today to talk about the Petty Cat, the new album that we have out. Um, and we're gonna we gonna get into that. Miss Petty Cat. Yes. Now. Meow. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Pop it off, pop it off. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm just I'm so amazed by your beauty, by your your talent and everything. And you work with some of the people that I'm very admired of. And so I just want to know how was it like when you were working with Mike Mosley and did you go to did you travel to California? Did he come to Texas? How did all that work out? Okay, how that worked. So we have, you know, this, the industry is super small. Mm -hmm. So everybody know everybody. Everybody know everybody. So I was, I was, I forgot how it started, but I started talking to one person that was in the industry and they were like, you need to meet so-and-so. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. And so, and then so-and-so said, you need to talk to so-and-so over there in New York. And that was Bob Bowen. Yeah. And Bob Bowen, really, really good guy. Mm -hmm. And he knew everybody. Mm -hmm. He was like, he talked to me. He was like, yo, I like you. And he was like, I'm going to help you. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to introduce you to my boy, Mike Mosley. Wow. Good guy. He said everybody that meets this guy, just like they just love him. Everybody yes. falls in love with and him. And blows just, up. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna introduce you to this guy. He said, and I'm gonna call him right now on the phone. He said, I'm gonna talk to him and I'm gonna tell him to make sure he takes care of you when you go and meet him. So I said, Okay. And so he gets on the phone with Mike and he was like, I'm going to send a girl your way. She, she's, you know, I, I, I got to find out what was the link between me and Bob Bowen. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got to figure out that. So he calls Mike and Mike said, okay, you know, she, you know, can, when can you come here? And I was just like, right. I'll tomorrow. Okay. So I'm like, let's <laughs> go. You know, so I'm, like, yes. I'm like, so really I was like that. I'm like a couple days I'll be there. So he was just like, just fly in. So. Dealing I said with okay. him and his work ethic. Right. Oh my goodness. Right. So I got there. I flew in. He picked me up from the airport. I was mm -hmm. like, hi, Mike. Yes. And so and when I tell you, I, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever met anyone as humble mm. as Mike Moses. And just that yes. dude just in quiet. Yes. He's just yes. like a, he's like like so he won't even son. embrace <laughs> what he is. He yes. he hasn't even right. embraced the king he is. You right. understand what I mean? Right. Like he doesn't know the the um inspiration that he throws out there. Right. Yes. Yes. So I go I go to so he's in Vegas and so he had he had a place in Vegas had this studio there so we were, we were meeting so he's like I'm gonna 
let you hear some of the music that I have and you just, you know, whatever you can write to, just write to it. So I'm like, cool. So he starts playing music and I'm like sitting in a corner and I'm like writing. He's like sitting at his desk and his back is toward me. I'm like, ah, okay. And he's just like, I like that. And I'm like, thank you, yeah. right? Yeah, we can just get <laughs> Thank you, right? Yeah, I, I yes. know what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> oh, but let me tell, no, 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 let me go back. Yeah. Let me go back. So we started stuff. doing that and then... I ended up sick. I ended up being really sick. Oh, man. I ended up having a sinus. Something was going on with my sinuses, too. I got really sick. And, and yeah. Mike was like, well, just go in there and in the other room and just lay down. Wow. And I was just like, okay. One, Who I, does that? One they day, would be like, get out of here. <laughs> one day had passed by. Let me tell you, yeah, I went to the store, got medicine wow. and everything and brought it in that room. And I stayed in there. I, I, one day was gone because I was sick and he was okay with it. He left me wow. alone, let me get better, make sure I was okay. And I'm That's like, how kings treat And I'm doctors. just like, and at first I felt bad because I'm like, I didn't came down here. And I'm I, <laughs> I, didn't, I, I came down here for you to take care of me. <laughs> Thank you. Right. But he was okay with it. Yeah. And I was just like, I just felt really bad because I'm like I'm sick in this man's house <laughs> I was supposed to be down here writing but it didn't phase him no. so I was just like dang that's good and I got better and so the next day he was like you good I said yeah I'm better and I'm just like thank you and he's like no problem so he was like chilled I mean he st we still did the writing and I'm gonna tell you one thing that I love that man didn't flirt with me not one time he didn't I make me feel no kind of way I was just man. like that is a king for yeah, you right yeah, I was like I, I love this I yes. was like he didn't make me feel and, and Bob told me that he's like you and he said I trust I trust him with you. Mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. said you ain't got nothing to worry about when you with Mike. He said I promise you. Man. He said I put my. He gave me his word, and I was just like, okay, man. You don't understand. I felt like I could walk around there, but yes. and he'd be like, yes. you want some eggs? <laughs> <laughs> you want eggs or bacon? Did you want toast? 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 Wow. Like, but that's I love amazing. it. That's his humbleness. Yes. And and that's who we grew up around. That's right. who I know from being a youngster and, yep. and yeah. seeing him maneuver in the city and and seeing him do parties, just seeing him grow. Right. He has stayed so humble that right. it was amazing to see and know that he was working with you. Right. And we were like, the Laconda Davies from Dallas? Right. <laughs> Like, how does that work? Right. How did that happen without us knowing it? Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. We're but supposed it, to know everything that's going on in Dallas. Right. Exactly. And right. that's the thing, you guys, because, you know, in Dallas, we have so many artists here, so many people flying in and out, working Very with talented. different artists, yeah. being managed by different people, working at different labels and doing different things. And I know that you had um, recently, after working with Mike, after getting into your own, you wrote and worked on your album. Yeah. Petty Cat. Mm -hmm. The Petty, Petty Cat album. Cat. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you what tell Mike me where told that me. Tell where comes from. Y'all look, I'm over here like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Petty Cat. I'm, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you who pushed me to do Petty Cat. Yeah. It was Mike Mosley. Wow. Shout out Mike to Mike. Mike kept telling me. Shout he was like, he said, he said, I'm telling you. Cause I told him I said I need to reinvent myself. I need to be, and so um, I let him hear a song. I said if I put that song out, I'm probably gonna put it up under a, put it put it out up under an alias. He heard a song and he was like, I'm telling you, girl, cause if you put that hot. song out, hot. he said they're gonna love it. He's I'm telling you, yes. he said Petty Cat. He said you can come out with Petty Cat, and so wow. I started testing the waters with Petty Cat. So I started going on Facebook. What's up, y'all? This your girl Laconda. I said no, no, no. I was going there like yeah, this your girl Petty, Petty Cat. Cat. Meow. Yeah. Where Laconda Davies at? I don't know. Yes. And, so, and I'm like, and, and people were loving it. And I was just like, and people just, they were just, they loved it. And I'm yes. just like, and, and Mike was like, I told you. And then you said, just, I told you. You just like that little, and so that, I little that little wildness, that little tiger, that little, that little <laughs> cheetah, it. that little cheetah sneaking right. around. Right. The right. Wow. And so I told, he was like, I told you. He said, I told you. So I put out a, a Petty Cat album. And uh, it was called Petty Cat Cost Free. Anyway, but I was like, uh, that is so, Petty I'm, Cat Cost Free. Like, Petty Cat, where is that? <laughs> Yeah, we're not on the table. table. We ain't in the closet. <laughs> we on the table with. The but you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. I pulled it off of. I pulled. I I pulled the album down because it was controversial because I at the time I was I was in church and I was leading the praise team. Okay. And, and the pastor's wife had uh listened to one of the songs <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> 
You was like, that's not petty. That's petty cat. That's not petty cat. That's not petty cat. That's petty cat. Yes. And so she asked me nicely. She was like, well, the thing is, I was like, she heard one song, mm-hmm. and this song was good. It didn't have none of the All extra your songs are good. No, I'm talking about it was like verbally good. Okay. Like, like, no, 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 no seduction. It was no seduction. It wasn't church like. <laughs> but it was called stripping. But it was clean. It was a good strip. Yeah. I'm like, I'm stripping for my new boyfriend. Yeah. Nice. And so it didn't have nothing vulgar in or anything. So she was like, I heard the song. And, you know, because you, you know, singing on the praise team and people, you get up in front of people and you're ushering in the spirit and da da da. And, and she was like, I would, you know, she said, it's up to you if you want to. And, and But I'm thinking to myself, I'm waiting for her to tell me. And I heard Freak Behind Closed Doors. <laughs> <laughs> So she never said anything. So I'm waiting for it. Like, ooh, what else? Like, you you gonna really hate me? After right? That. Like, you, uh, I'm ushering in something different. On so, so, so I'm just, I'm listening to her, like waiting for her to say she heard, uh, uh, make yeah. it better. And uh, I'm just mm. like, ooh. so she said, oh, yeah, I heard the strip, and I was just like, oh, but I'm just like. I still love the people. Right. <laughs> and this so, is a praise the Lord. Ego. Right, you right. gotta understand who I am. Right. <laughs> and so, and when she said she heard stripping, because that was like the recent one that yes. I had put out as a single. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, she didn't hear the rest of it. And so I said, I told him, I told, I was, the guy I was with at the time, I told him, I said, uh, I'm gonna have to pull that album. I said before I said we she worried about that one. I said she Petty Cat, that. we need that yes. song because we gonna bounce right. that boogie all over this GFN radio oh, station. Man. Please yeah. believe I mean, it. It's a, it's a beautiful song. I yeah. Love it. And, he, and everybody was like, I don't see anything wrong with the song. I'm just like, no, but I It's sexy, it. it's it's well, vulnerable, it's yeah. Yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. So yeah. It was so Can good. we get that song, please, I'm Petty Cat? I am gonna get it to you. Know? Please give me that song. She like a body. Yes. Amazing. Right. So you brought the song down because of your doing the praise. I brought dancing. the song and the whole Petty Cat. She had she didn't mention I the remember, Petty Cat album. But I remember when you brought Petty Cat out because yes. I like I said, I was the number one Lakanda Davies artist be, yes. a fan before. She was. I even saw her out on social media when I met when I saw you. This was back in early, yeah, this was early two thousand. Yes. So the fact that she let you let her bring it down. I mean, yeah. I know you. We have to do what we have to do yeah. when we're doing things. Um, like we all work in different facets, right? right? So you had that facet of being at church, being this church girl doing right. the good thing, right? But Petty Cat came out. Petty Cat was like <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> she was scratching to come yeah. out. <laughs> right. I don't owe right. no apologies. Right. So I so, am who I am and I'm about to give it to you. But wait right. a minute JB. She just said Mike Mosley inspired you to get it out. But what yeah. was the ins- Thank you, you well, Mike. encouraged you. But what was the inspiration behind that whole album? Because it was tight. It was dope. The album, the inspiration behind it was um, I'm Freak. <laughs> no, but but listen. <laughs> I, I said it. Yeah, but yeah. And so I, it was. I wanted. I didn't. I wanted to bring it out because yeah. I was just like, I'm hiding her. Yeah. I'm like, I gotta. I gotta. Why are we out? scared to bring the freak right, to the surface? Right. So I'm like, I'm hiding her. Let me bring her out under an alias. Yeah. Let me keep Lakanda Davies over here. Let me throw a. Let Kinda me throw like this over Baker, here. Huh? And so that's what <laughs> I did. I'm sexy, right? right? So I'm like, let me bring this part out. And I love doing sexy music. I know yeah. how to put it out to where it wasn't. It wasn't nothing against the nasty girls, but mm-hmm. it's not. It wasn't nasty how I did it. It yes. was sexy. Sexy. And I'm just like, let me up. get this. Him. And even even my 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 husband at the time when I was married and I did the Petty Cat I did the Petty Cat album before him but I released it while we were together, together he right? loved it yeah he was the I drummer he, he, was at home, right? he was the drummer in the church okay and so he was mad because he encouraged me to put it out yeah mm-hmm. and so he was like what is she saying uh, why are they mad at you they should be yeah. mad at me too he wow. said because I encouraged it I, I didn't have a problem with it. I'm your husband wow. and I was just like right I said but at the same time you know I am. 
I, I do want to, they didn't want me to sing in the, on the, the praise team. They put me on probation. I was just like, what? I like singing on the praise team. So y'all church praise, folks. Y'all taking my love y'all and my life life the me. praise away from me. I yes. like praising. But yeah. I'm like, but I like my music because I'm like, it's, I'm going to stay this we, way. Without this, what I'm talking about, we can't make baby. We need you. How we don't baby. exist if we not make right. We need Petty Cat. Right. We need Petty Cat. Right. Let me just say so that. So Petty Cat, right. I take it, is a sensual seductress. She is. Mm-hmm. A sensual seductress. So where did the energy of Petty Cat come from? I know you said you had to let us know. Yeah. You know, I'm all woman. Yes. You know, I got that thing. I got that <laughs> macaroni and <laughs> cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me get up the working cheese. bubble. Right. <laughs> where did the creativity behind that come from because that album was very clever right i just want you to know that right very mm-hmm. clever the way you did it right coming out as an alter ego as petty cat see i'm a follower see <laughs> and and you can only speak if you really know right and t- when you came with petty cat i was like oh yeah. yeah, geez. Now I know she's showing is, her real self. I think right. I was your friend first on Facebook. Okay. I, yeah, I she just was you making a long friends and didn't, right. didn't know why I was making friends. Right. I was just making friends, right? right. When Twinsy came and told me, there's a lady named Laconda Dave. She fine. She got it going on. She sings. Oh my gosh, she right. sings. Right. She was like, she's sexy. She's she is what women want to, to be. be. Right. Yes. So I just want to say thank you for not thank being you. shy, right? For having the courage to get out there and show that you can be sexy and right. still professional. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Thank That's you. important. You carry it thank you. so well. Thank you. So well. So well that you got to work with Paul <laughs> Anthony of <laughs> Fairness. Yes, I did. Yes. I did. yes. Now. Everybody the know Paul Anthony. The Paul Anthony. <clears throat> Hold on, he's fine as all fine, go, not the y'all. fine, not the fine, <laughs> that, fine. Right. that full one. force, right. full yeah. force. Yes. Stop it. Tell us. First of all, I'm in love already. How did you meet? Okay. Yeah. How did that come about, and how did that business relation form? Well, how we met was um, we had a mutual friend, and it, it was his name was Peter Allen. He has a radio station in Houston. And uh, from what I was told, Peter was like, Peter called me. He was like, hey, Laconda, I got uh, Paul Anthony that's going to call you because, you know, he's looking for an artist to work with. They got a song they're working on. They need some help on it or whatever. And I was just like, okay, well, give him my, he sent me the song. I was like, yeah, I can help him on that or whatever. He said, he's also looking to work with a female artist. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, give him, you know, give him my number. He said, I'm going to give you his number and y'all, you know, chop it up when you get a chance or whatever. And I said, okay. And I, th- I called him up and, you know, I said, hey, you know, Peter told me to give you a call you're looking for. He was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, you know, what do you do? And I told him, I said, uh, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, producer, and I'm an engineer. And he was like, whoa, you do all that? I said, I do all that. I Multitaskful. Said, yeah, and he was like, well, send me some of the stuff you 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 got. I was like, okay, cool. I got a Rolodex. Right. <laughs> Let me give you this. What right. you need. Let me give you something. Yes. Like selling crack. What right. you need. What you need. What you need. Right. <laughs> and so I sent him. I didn't send any. I, the thing is, I, I never sent him any of the petty cat stuff. Never mm. did that. And so I sent him, like, you know, my other stuff that I had been working on. I sent it to him, and he called me. He was like, yo, this is really good. He was like, you produced this? He's like, you, like, did the music? I was like, I played all the music. I mixed it. I mastered it. He was just like, yo, what? And I was like, yeah, I do all. He's like, you do. He said, let me get this right. And he's so funny. (laughs) He's like, let me get this right. You did everything i said i did everything i said i have my own studio i sit here and i record it i do my backgrounds i do everything so he was impressed from the jump when i told him that he was like yo we impressed but not wanting to hear that like you got a whole team set up for you girl right we (laughs) had a whole shaman right no i don't need that (laughs) so yeah and so we were talking so he was like yo he was like so what are you doing i was like well just working on my projects and stuff like that working on you know you know another album and he was like he's like look he said let's talk again he said i want you to think about some things he said i want to i want you to think about what you need me to do Mm -hmm. so now i was like because at first it started off as me helping them with with a song that they were doing right then he was like 
uh, you need to let me know what I need to do for you. You, you. So I, mean, I was I like, give you some stuff. Right, because yeah. he was like, do you need me to manage you? You need to find out if you want me to like consult you or, or you know, or do both. What do you, what do you need? Yeah. Wow. And so I was like, okay. I said, I'll let you know. And so I said, let me think about it. So I, you know, I talked to my, my, you know, now ex-husband about it mm -hmm. at the time. And I told him, I said, well, you know, and, and at, and at first, let me, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Paul Anthony did not, it didn't dawn on me that Paul Anthony was the Paul Anthony from Full Force. And I, and then it, it saw, I, I never knew, I, it didn't dawn on me. I'm just talking to a guy who's been in the right. industry and say, you know, he was good. You know, he's been around for a long time. And I'm like, and then it didn't dawn on me. Wow. So I'm just doing what I, I do. I know it was a legend. Yeah. Sitting back, giving him my stuff. And I'm just like, okay. <clears throat> and uh, I sent him this one song called I'm Gone. He called me. He was like, this is a hit. He said, like, this is a hit. He was like, this one song right here, he said, wow. we need to work this song. Let's go. And I was like, okay. So he was like, send this to me. Let me get my guys. I want to add something to it. And I was just like, and, and I trusted him. Oh, I don't course. send, I don't send yeah, those yeah, songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't be trusting I don't send the kids to everybody house. Right. <laughs> I don't send nobody to the house. You come visit at like, the crib. You come right. visit the children at the house. But yeah. it was something about talking with him. I trusted him. I was yeah. like, I trust him. You know, yeah. I'm right. Him. Yeah. And I sent it to him. Yeah, and so um, from there, he was just <clears throat> trying to build out the the whole timeline of what we were gonna do, and I was just like, "Yo, let's go!" And so um, that is amazing. Yeah, Congress. and they kind of started like that, and I was just like, "Let's go!" And so he was amped. He was like, "This is gonna be." He was like, "Man," and I was his energy made me feel like, "Okay, oh, yeah." Yes. I was like, "I got yeah. this." Right. Well, I tell you what, we gotta take a quick break, but I got some more questions for you, Patty okay. Cat. <laughs> Man, okay. and we're here live, Twin Fotainment. This your girl, Twinsy G and JJ. JB. We got the infamous, beautiful, talented songstress Lakonda Davies in the house, Miss Pettycat herself. Yeah. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about this boy like a little thing. I mean about this Paul Anthony okay. thing when we get okay. back. Entertainment <laughs> will be right back. All so. right now. Hey, 
just take your time and say it when you're ready Cause I already know Welcome back to GFN. You're in, in tune with uh, Twin Fultainment. I'm your favorite twin, Jay Dizzy. And I'm your favorite twin, Twinsy G. And we are here with the lovely Laconda Davies. Did Woo. you know? If you didn't know, now you do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And we just left Laconda, um, <clears throat> a.k.a. Petty Cat. Yeah. 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 yeah, let's get it straight. Keep it popping now. Um, so we just left the um, commercial going, and we were listening to your music. Um, Let it go. Let it go. Let yourself go. Let yeah. yourself go. That was a beautiful and song. It was very beautiful. Can you give us a little bit insight about that song and where it came from and how you came about with that song? I can. All right. So let me tell you about Let Yourself Go. So Let Yourself Go was a song that I wrote, and it was like... So with me, when I write, it's either I'm writing about myself or it's writing about someone else that, that's told me something about something they're going through. And it's just like I'm an empath that way. So I'm wow. an empathic writer. Wow. And so this song was, um, I was, I was, I would see people, I think I was out and I would see people like, you know, you can, you can look at people and they, they're in relationships, but you don't know if they're really, you know, if somebody, you know, this one mm. girl was like, you know, so, you know, what are we doing? Yes. And so, and you, you see them smile and mm. she's just like, mm. and so, it. right. And so, <laughs> right, right. And so I took that and I wrote, I just, I just gave this whole scenario on my, I took a little bit of things that I had gone through, what I had seen. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and I was like, let yourself go is a song about somebody just let yourself go if you love me say you love me let yourself go yeah and so and that's what why that is that is so about. hard to do why is it so hard to just be authentically yourself and just love without worrying about the boundaries of other people's thoughts or what other people got to say why we just can't love just because we love you because this world is scary and it's fake and people like being more fake than genuine right. Real talk. and 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 when you keep things genuine it scares people right mm. when you being transparent right yeah and and i just want to say the song just sent shivers through my body. Can we give, can we give a toast? Can we give a toast? We ain't the drink champs, but we hey, drinking. Hey, yes. Hey. And so I just want to say, I just want you to keep inspiring women and keep inspiring us because you've inspired me. And I just want, want you to know that everything that you've gone through for us, 
We appreciate it, girl. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> so, Petty Cat is don't, what you want to know. Right, right. Don't try to get her off that easy because we right. not done. I told y'all, we're going to ask some questions about Paul Ask Anthony. those questions, girl. <laughs> now, I know it was like a friend of a friend that introduced you guys and then you, you met. Right. And it's like, what was that like working with him? With Paul with Paul Anthony, sexy Paul fight. Anthony. Woo! Yeah, it was it was a awesome experience. It really was. Mm. I thought working with Mike Mosley was the next thing. I thought that was a show. No, listen, it was. It I'm was excited really, all over again. Listen, he got this energy about himself that makes you. Is he's got no? I, I, I'm gonna say it like he says it. He got this sexy energy about himself. That part that wow. makes so petty cat was just. <laughs> all over the place like, <laughs> he, this is my language yeah and so he he made it so look, no no let me tell you when i told him the story about me pulling uh the uh petty cat album down because of the uh because of my pastor he because was just of christianity like, and i told right and i told him i said um i said but petty cat's not real and he said let me tell you something Petty cat is real. Okay. He said, You are petty cat. Mm, and he yes. said, Don't you ever forget that. He said, Don't put, he said, Don't, don't ever. He said, Petty. And I was like, and I thought about it, and I was just like, I am real, ain't I? Yeah. Three steps. I was like, <laughs> Three steps. <laughs> right. And so, and baby. he told me, He said, Petty cat is real. Don't be afraid of petty cat. He said, yes. That is you. Don't hide, don't hide that part of you. And I said, Because that's okay. the sexy you. Right. Wow, the petty cat. Hey. Sexy, the petty cat brings right. out the sensuality. Right. <laughs> exactly. the Davies. And so he told me, he said, that's real. He said, don't you hide that. And I, and I, it Absolutely. made me like, it's like he. Not with released. that bubble, girl. You better not be hiding right. that. <laughs> right. So it's like he released me. And I was just like, wow. okay, let's go. And then so I thought. So you kind of got confirmation from Paul Anthony right. to like. Continue. Show your sexy, yes, girl. Yes. And so, and, and he was sending, he sent me he sent me videos on stuff that he had done on stage, and and I was just like, you crazy? Because he can get real. He was, yes. Wasn't he the one that like they used to pull his clothes off and stuff? He was the one. Show the muscles. Yeah. Jimmy he was like, the one. He had some nice. Yes. Yeah, I he was remember like, is that real. Jerry Curl now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and I rub my hands through that Jerry curl. <laughs> wow, right. and I so, can't even imagine. Yeah, so he brought that out of me, and I was just like, okay, let's let's let me get back because I had the church thing had me like, okay, let me put that to the side. Let me write some other yeah. music, which I can. Yeah, but you know, but the petty cat that was still there. But I could I could write anything. But that was that inner you, yeah. that inner beast needing to come right, out and be right. seen for the sensual right. beast that you are. And he brought that back out of me, so I was like okay yeah. but can and we talk a little bit about like how christianity tries to hold us back yeah from being we can still be lovable love god right. and still be ourselves right yeah and and i think that's what is lacking in right. this world today mm. like people are keeping others from just being themselves right. yeah. like let me be who i am right. so i let can feel be. comfortable right exactly. i shouldn't have to have drinks to feel comfortable i shouldn't have to smoke a blunt to feel comfortable right. i want to feel comfortable just walking in the room right. that's right exactly. that's right that's, that's, that's right but that's but again religion i won't just say christianity i'll just say religion, yeah, religion period. it has has this twist on how we're supposed to act or how we're supposed to talk or walk right. and we can't express ourselves in certain ways and if we do we have to keep a lid on certain things right. and i, I appreciate think the pope and donald trump done showed us that all of that is <laughs> out the door, right. out exactly. the door. Right. we, we it, doing what we want how we want but, when we want again, and we still love the lord right but even though religion itself is such a cap on who you can be and who you can't be right. and you look at these these churches and stuff and you start hearing about the story oh the pastor was sleeping with the the women in the church or yeah. sleeping with the, the choir boys or whatever the case may be right. you always hear because we so afraid to be who we are and right. i think if like you said if we could just be ourselves and let us express ourselves in the full capacity that we are like you lakanda you know not being able to express yourself because you in a, a church environment we're right. talking to petty cat petty right. cat talking to Lakanda. Right. but it held right. petty cat up yes and that's the point i'm trying to make like yeah now you can be full-blown petty cat if that's what you want right. to do but you were 
restricted in some kind of way. Right. And I don't like that. I don't like yeah. it either. I don't yeah. like that. I like the fact that when music used to be fun, free, and we could yeah. just say what we want to say, feel how we want to feel, and have fun doing it, and not feel restricted. Right. And someone as talented as yourself to 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 be told that did that make you feel some kind of way? It did. From the church, like that would have made me feel some kind of way, like. Y'all don't love me, me or love me. God. And that probably right. say honestly, do. I probably would have walked away from the church. Right. Like, well, I don't. Right. Y'all don't deserve me. Right. Yeah. Because I I'm bringing the way. talent to the church. Right. Exactly. Right. And I know y'all know this. Because right. in yeah. my heart, I'm like, I'm doing both. I'm like, I love being on a praise team. I do what I do on a praise team because this is real. All of it is real. Right. I'm like, this is me, and this is also me. Yeah. I'm like, these songs that I'm doing as Petty Cat. These are to me. These are love songs. Right. Yeah. Because I'm like I'm 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 showing a woman this is how you can be with him. This yes. is how you can. This is how you talk with him. And sometimes we happy. need that. We right. need that yeah. guidance. Right. And if we don't have other women showing us how to be, yeah, then we don't know. Right. And so for you to be bold enough to even give us an example, right. That's what we should be appreciating. Yeah. Right. When I knew that I was, ex when I, the moment I knew I was accepted is when my mama called me to my wear a petty cat. And I was like, Mom, mama, really? we love you. <laughs> so when she said that to me, wow. I was like, Okay. Yeah, you know okay. you done crossed over with mama asked about it. When she said we're petty cat, it. Because right. petty cat is okay. bringing the attitude. Right. Petty cat is bringing the the sexuality, the adventure, yes. and that's what we need. Right. The music is missing that. Yeah, because the church act like we not up against things in in life. That's 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 you better know it. Men and women to go out and do something different. Let me show you how to keep this at home. Yeah, show you what we need to do. Let me because that I got a song called. Make it better i'm just like you feeling this way let me make it better for you yeah, okay. come like, on come let on let me make this better come for on. you come on so i'm just like i'm 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 you know i'm doing songs like okay let me let me take you on this adventure yeah yes. and so that's all i was doing and and that's and all. i say keep following that dream yeah. and making yes. it happen but what is this thing what is this thing Mickey Nicki Minaj said in an interview to to you about <laughs> some guys about and, <laughs> about um having a manager of a caliber of Mr. Paul Anthony and <laughs> she said something to the effect of, you know, guys are scared of those guys back in for them to even come around they women because <laughs> yes. they walk in yes. by yes. so and you're like, I want the guy with the shorts and the big legs. <laughs> <laughs> right. But they can walk out right. with your girl right right yes yeah yeah nikki did say that uh she did an interview i think i think it was with sway in, in the morning or something like that she did yeah. an interview and she said that and uh wow yeah. but i'll tell you that yeah that when they're out the women when they know who they are they just like mm, you can see the looks so, like but what oh. is that like when you out with somebody like paul anthony like this legend this yeah. woman magnet right. this freaking it's funny god it funny it was it was funny because i understood because he it's like his energy demanded the attention mm. and so when he's out he knew he was gonna get it he put it out and we would just listen oh we'll be in the line god. at the store and women like i know who you are is this who you with and he's like oh no and he and they be looking like oh, okay i remember you are and i'm just like he's like when you did this right here he'd be laughing oh, like, yeah. wait, 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 wait. what is your love life like what is my Wait, love? Look, I was just about to get there. Thank yeah, you. I mean, you know, I, 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 I want to get you that. I want to get you that for the interview. Wait, 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 wait. Popped in like the interview. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you. I, like I'm like the sub because because I like to hear from a female standpoint because a lot of times relationships fail when yes. it's men that's in the business and you know I mean yeah. how's it from a woman's standpoint? Do you have that man that? Could be in your corner that's down for you knowing that the crowd is looking at you everything right. the tension is on you does he know his place right you know what i i am in a relationship and uh i think he i i can't i can say from what i've seen that he's he stays in his place and he understands because I, I I gave him a picture one time. He like this picture. I said it's a little sexy and it's a little edgy. He's like, yeah, it is. He said, but I know you gotta do what you gotta do. He wow. said, I look too good. Okay. Come on. So King. I'm like, yeah. okay. 
so I can do like, this. <laughs> so, 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 but, wait a minute. Life. but you're so beautiful, right? Thank you. And, and you have all of these things going on right. and you're around the, the, the infamous Paul Anthony, right? Like, <laughs> And was he not coming on to you? Like, was he did not, you like, not rub on the muscles? Me, 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 she, can't, she can't say that because let me, let me you know, hold you because her man can't step to that dude. Like, right. Right. <laughs> don't put no pressure on your man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. But, exactly. but the but the but the ladies want to know. know. <laughs> yeah, because um, now. <laughs> okay, what was the question? And yes. muscles. You being so beautiful. Look Did he ever? Oh, you said he petty cat. The right. petty cat. He got the petty cat around okay. him. You do have petty. He did have petty cat. Yeah. All sneaking right. around and doing her <laughs> thing. Right. Like, how did that feel? It was he ever like coming onto you, like holding your hand Ooh, or just making you honey, feel did so Did he ever look you in your pretty brown eyes and tell you, come here, uh, Condo. Come to, get some come, to your room, come to your room to bring some paperwork and you got his shit no! all greased oh up. You know? I, get right now? I need you to sign this. <laughs> I need you to sign this paperwork. You just get up in your panties and t-shirt. I sign it. Okay, hold on. Right. I no. sign it. Oh my God. Um, inquiring girl. minds want to know. Give us the business. <laughs> that tells me everything. Oh, I my need God. to know. Crickets, kicky, yeah, yeah. Eat the peanut candy. Keep it sweet, honey. Keep and it one sweet. more thing: Do you have children? Go on with him, Supreme. Go oh my God! <laughs> Do you have children? Do I have kids? Uh huh. Does Do a I have cat? Kids? Does a petty cat look like that? Do a petty cat look milk cat. in the middle of the night? That's <laughs> why I can't have kids, and they just, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Already, yeah. it doesn't even matter because if she I got a litter, has, I got a litter. Okay, okay. I got a litter. Yeah, and and it's okay. all good. No, but I'm saying it's a good thing. If not, you know, I was gonna put pressure on a man to produce. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look like here, we right. trying to we trying to tour the world and make major right, make major money. moves. And the right. Supreme so, is putting the pressure on the men. We, okay, we, we, come we, on, King. Yeah, we we we're we're rolling ambassadors right in the hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> we, exactly. need, we need we need our women to keep producing. You know, we right. got yeah, to strong. Absolutely. Yeah, we got to keep this race strong. So if you exactly. can do it, we can need you to keep producing. You got four minutes before. Um, it goes so make sure she get a social media and you know yeah. well absolutely absolutely and you know we're gonna roll into your song baby i know before we get out of here so y'all stay tuned for that okay. but before we leave laconda um you know we still we ain't done with this paul anthony conversation <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay i know we run out of time but we gonna have to have you back because right. y'all did a lot of work together yeah. we did we did and inquiring minds just want to know and you also did, did you remake one of the Tupac songs? I did. Oh, yes. Oh. I did. Now, you did that with Mike Mosley. Yes. Well, see, wait, well, let us have We didn't it. get let a chance to, we didn't, we trying to touch bases on everything, you guys. Right. And we haven't even been able to, we trying to put it all into this <laughs> little hour interview. It is but so I hard. tell you what, it's bigger than what you think. Yeah. Well, the it's good bigger. thing is, is your show and you can bring her back. And absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. You know, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get into that though. We want to talk about all that when we get back if we can, a few minutes. Let's just pour in a little bit into the um the song you redid. Okay. And let's pour into this last question you wanted us to get into so we can get into that and I'm so excited. It's just amazing to have you here. Your energy yes. is so full in the room. And I just want you to know that it's a beautiful blessing. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's a blessing to be here Thank with you. Thank you. With the Thank twin. You. Yes. JB. Talented. Your favorite twin, JB. <laughs> Listen, we got the talented songstress, the seductress, Petty, Petty Cat, Cat. Yeah. in a building. Petty Kiss. Let us sing another babies. song before she go. Wakanda, before we before we let you get into the song, can you let the people know how they can reach you on social media? Yes, you can reach me on all my handles are Lakonda Davies. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram is Lakonda Davies around the clock. Um, that's and, that's and me. Lakonda, that sounds good, but you know, some of us kind of um we bipolar, we, we're a little schizophrenic, <laughs> right. we're a little, you know, right. sometimes 
why we just don't get it. Honey bun, spell it out for us. Laconda, L-A-C-O-N-D-A, D-A-V-I-E-S. Yes. Matter of fact, when you put it in your browser, it's going to pop up. It's yes. Because there's only one Lakanda Davies. Hey, it's and she pop right up. here. She right here with Twin Fotainment. Hey, she's right here. here. Blessing hey, can, us. Can, Showing can, us can, love. Can you give us a freestyle again before you go? Do you Don't rap and all that? that beautiful yeah. voice. Do, Do I rap, rap? mama? Yeah. I, a little bit. Oh, because no, I heard you say you rapping thing, and everything. Mama. You know what I'm saying? Do so, your thing. Yeah, give us a little taste of something. I do a little bit. I do a little bit. Okay. I guess you... Here okay, go. go ahead. I guess you think that you can play me best to recognize because I see through all the motherfucking games and lies. I know it's crazy, but it ain't gonna phase me because I'm okay. There we go. That's not. Okay. Hey. Hold on, I get the cussing too much. Hey, this our show. We can say we won't. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. out there lying. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? I'm about that life. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yes. want to yes. come get it. Yes. Well, listen, yes. it has been a pleasure, Lakanda. Yes. We appreciate you. Thank you. We love you. I love you too. And we yes. give you your much flowers, love. girl. Why? Thank you. Here, yes. Thank when she you. do, let me tell you something. Keep out on the lookout. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You heard her, Laconda Davies, right here with Twin Fotainment Web TV with your favorite twins, JB and Twinsy. Yes. We have been this thing. We gonna leave out of here with I know, baby. That's one of Laconda's cuts. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed her because she'll be back because we got some more to back. talk about. You better know, baby. And again, Laconda, give them a little something to get on up out of here with. Don't leave me in those pain Don't leave me in the rain Bring back the nights that you I don't know all the words Come yeah. and take my away You know how you don't know the words? You got that sensuous feel though Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just do it just You didn't get to the hood You don't know Come and take my heart yes. Say you love me again mm. I'm just hurt Cause when you walked out the door You walked out of my life mm. I cried these tears I cried too many nights Okay, there we go That's All the way And you pop your car And, and by the way, uh, we want to um, send our condolences out to yes. Tony Brack, Tony your Brack sister that just passed away yes. Absolutely, yes. 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 We love you, Tracy we love And that's why I did that, yes That's All right and You did great You did awesome Thank you, thank you so much yeah. for Grace on our, our, our show. Thank you for having me both. Thank and we you. Look Thank to you. Petty Cat. In the yeah. building. Petty yeah. Cat. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. See you on the next one. All right. That's All a wrap, right. y'all. That was beautiful. Just close my eyes and there you are You have these perfect ways to get to me In the shower when I'm by myself Just the things you always say to me Whoa, I see
Thank you. 